Hey you, are you curious about through hiking? Well, you've come to the right place. This is gonna be 100, you heard that right, 100 through hiking tips that everybody needs to hear before they start their first through hike. Some of these are related to gear, some of them are related to resupply, some of them are about just like courtesy and culture, and some of them are just general tips that are gonna help bring you success on your through hike. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. That's my goal. Please help me get there if you haven't subscribed already. And let's jump in into it. Number one, if you're thinking about quitting, get off the trail, go into town and eat a large burger or pizza or whatever your heart desires. Eat a lot of food and then think about if you still want to quit. If your water source has a lot of sediment floating in it, run it through a bandana or buff before you put it through your filter. That way it won't slow down the filter quite as much. Buy a phone charger and charging cable that charge fast because you're not gonna always have a lot of time to charge your electronics when you're in town. Hiking in the rain is always gonna suck, so just embrace the suck and try to make the most of it. Practice bear hangs and hanging your food before you start your hike because it's a lot harder than it looks. If the temperatures are gonna be in the 30s at night, make sure you sleep with your filter to prevent it from freezing. Always be on the lookout for rattlesnakes. Never take a step unless you can see right where you are placing your foot. You might not feel hungry on the first couple days of your through hike, try to eat as much as you can, but don't worry about this. This is completely normal. The hunger will come. You're going to be out there having so much fun, but don't forget to call your mom every now and then and check in with her. She will appreciate it. And also if you don't do it, I will. If you're hiking in an exposed area, like on a ridge or something, and you see lightning, get the f below tree line. I would never condone drinking on trail, but if you're going to do it, liquor is a lot more weight efficient than beer. Just saying. Don't just take photos of the scenery, also take photos of the people you meet. You're gonna look back on those photos much more fondly, trust me. Never talk about another through hiker. Word spreads very, very fast on the trail. And speaking of for the love of God, don't do it near a water source. Use KT tape to cover areas of your body that are chafing. It doesn't always work, it might come off, but it's definitely worth a try. Don't just drink water, you also need to be drinking electrolytes. And speaking of electrolytes, real quick, I want to thank Drink Element for sponsoring this video. Drink Element is the best electrolyte drink mix on the market, it's not even close. Whether you're out there hiking or going to the gym, doing yard work, whatever you're doing that causes you to sweat, you gotta be replacing those electrolytes lights because if you don't you're gonna get muscle cramps you're gonna feel fatigued and so you got to do it but you don't want to just run to Walmart and just buy whatever crap you find on the shelves there because trust me when I say it will not be as tasty as drink element and it will not be as healthy either drink element has no added sugar it's got zero BS all it has is the electrolytes that you need to stay hydrated and stay safe as well as an amazing taste and speaking of amazing taste I love their flavors so much citrus salt that's my favorite followed very closely by orange orange salt, but Drink Element also goes way beyond the more basic flavors like that because they have crazy flavors like chocolate salt, mango chili, lemon habanero, no other company is making flavors like this. They're all so awesome and you can try all of them by going to drinkelement.com slash kylehateshiking. That's drinklmnt.com slash kylehateshiking. When you use that link and you place an order on their website, you're going to get a free sample pack thrown in with your order and you're going to get to try eight different amazing, crazy, awesome flavors that Drink Element Element has. So go make a purchase, go get your sample pack. One more time, drink lmnt.com slash hiking. Trail running shoes are your friend. Big heavy boots, on the other hand, are not. Ibuprofen is great, but if your body hurts so much that you're taking it every day, it might be time to ease up on the miles for a bit. Be ready to experience the highest of highs, but also the lowest of lows. Much like your filter, you should also sleep with your electronics in your sleeping bag if it's going to be below 40 degrees. And Speaking of electronics, don't forget to download your favorite podcasts and music before you leave town because you're probably not gonna have service once you get back on the trail. If you see a bear or any other dangerous animal right off the trail, be sure to warn any hikers you pass for at least the next mile or so. It's probably not that big a deal, but it just never hurts to give people some heads up. If you're gonna send yourself resupply boxes ahead of time, be sure to pack them each with a variety of food because you will get sick of certain items. Use darn tough socks and take full advantage of their free exchange program. Many outfitters along the trail will exchange your socks for free. Try to stay at hotels that have laundry machines for guests. It will make 
your time in town so much easier, trust me. Wear headphones or earplugs at night to drown out the random spooky sounds that the forest makes. You're gonna smell terrible no matter what you do, just embrace it. And speaking of smelling bad, leave the deodorant at home. It's not gonna help. You're just gonna smell terrible with also a slight scent of deodorant. Learn how to use the app Far Out and or your map and guidebook before you start so you don't have to worry about learning it when you're actually on the trail. When you're signing logbooks at shelters and trailheads, make sure you write legibly because if you don't, nobody is gonna read it, trust me. Carry some extra cash with you at all times just in case your card stops working or you end up going to an establishment that is cash only. If you see trash or just random pieces of gear discarded on the side of the trail, pick them up and pack them out. For the love of God, don't forget to brush your teeth, okay? Keep your campfire small and never cut down live trees for firewood. And also, if you're enjoying a campfire that somebody else made, pitch in and gather some firewood for them. If a hostel, a shuttle, or any hiker service has an optional donation policy, you should definitely still leave a donation. Don't be offended if the person that's driving you into town has to roll the windows down. Keep a slow pace at the beginning of your through hike so that you don't go too hard and get an overuse injury. And also don't stress about people who are doing more miles than you. It's not a race, you're all gonna end up in the same place at the end of the day. If your diet and logistics allow, try to resupply at grocery stores along the trail instead of sending unnecessary resupply boxes. Pack an extra bottle cap for your smart water bottles because if you lose one of the bottle caps, your bottle is basically useless. Try not to complain when you're on the trail, but if you're gonna complain, at least try to make it funny. If you stay at a hotel that has a free continental breakfast, dude, take full advantage of that. You won't always be able to do this, but if you can, try to ship your resupply boxes to businesses that help hikers along the trail instead of the post office to avoid the post office's bad hours. If you find yourself coming up behind someone who's hiking your direction, try to make some noise before you get like right behind them because otherwise you might come up on them and you might scare the shit out of them. Don't give unsolicited gear advice to other hikers, kind of like I'm doing right now. Seriously, just don't ever do this when you're on the trail. Don't give advice unless people ask for it. Listen to your body and make sure that you take a day off when you really need it. Try not to leave your gear unattended when you're in town. And if you have to do it, try to find a hidden safe place to stash it while you go into the store or whatever. Don't set up your tent inside of a shelter unless you're 100% sure that nobody else is coming that night. And if someone else does come, make sure you take it down right away. Check every single hiker box that you come across. You never know what you're gonna find. Don't pick a trail name until you get one that you really like because it will quickly become your new identity. Don't smoke inside lean-tos and shelters. It's just not a good look. Pack out some fresh vegetables every now and then and add them to your bland hiker meals. And also, if you go to a fast food restaurant, pack out a few hot sauce or ketchup or mayonnaise or whatever packets to spice up your trail meals. Always carry two lighters not just one. Check your pockets and your backpack for forgotten wrappers and snacks that you might have left in there before you hang your bear bag. If you have to or choose to carry a bear canister, you might as well use it for a chair when you're in camp. Always be flexible. Plans change so fast, so often when you're through hiking. Start the hike knowing that you're gonna make mistakes so that way when they do happen, you won't be as frustrated. Never quit on a rainy day. Always look for dead trees when you're picking a campsite and set up your tent or hammock away from them if at all possible. Try to choose a hotel in town that's easily walkable from laundry, restaurants, resupply, and any of the other things you might have to do when you're there. Don't hike yourself into an injury just because you're trying to keep up with someone else's pace. Smile, laugh, and maybe even dance when you hitchhike. It will definitely increase your chances of getting a ride. From my experience, hitchhiking while you're actually walking, especially if you're facing away from traffic, is gonna give you a much lower chance of getting a ride than if you just stop, face the traffic, boom, you'll be fine. Try to get your gear as lightweight as your wallet will allow. Eat as much as you possibly can when you're in town. Not only is it fun, but you really need to make up for all the calories that you're burning. Don't forget to clean your pots and utensils with soap and hot water every now and again when you're in town. When introducing yourself to other hikers, fist bumps are a lot more sanitary than handshakes. Take your phone and or GPS device with you when you walk off the trail to go to the bathroom. That way, just in case you get disoriented, 
disorientated and you don't remember which way the trail is, you can use that to get yourself back safely. Train your body before you start the trail. You'll thank me later. Facebook groups are definitely useful, but just make sure you take everything you read in there with a grain of salt. You're almost guaranteed to get blisters at some point. Just accept this and make sure you treat them and allow them to heal. Ow, ow. Ow. Don't focus on how far you have left to go. Instead, try to focus and celebrate how far you've gone. Keep your sleeping bag and warm clothes dry at all costs. This is so important. If you're hiking in bear country, make sure that you hang your food or use a bear canister. When you're hitchhiking and someone pulls over to give you a ride, make sure you chat with them for a minute, scope them out before you get inside their car. Save any extra Ziploc bags that you buy. You'll almost always end up using them at some point and they weigh pretty much nothing. Be super nice to section hikers and day hikers. Not only is it just the right thing to do, but they will often have extra food to give to you. Put your phone in airplane mode when you're hiking to preserve your battery. If you're using an inflatable sleeping pad, make sure you carry a patch and repair kit for it. Don't wash your dishes in streams and water sources. It's disrespectful to everyone who has to then go drink that same water. Don't forget that the post office is closed on Sunday and often Saturdays as well, especially in small towns. Plan your resupplies accordingly. When you pass somebody who's hiking the opposite direction as you, don't be afraid to ask them if they have any information about upcoming water sources, campsites, all the stuff that they already passed. When you're resupplying at a grocery store, put your backpack inside of a shopping cart and then walk around like that. That way you don't have to risk leaving it outside the store and you don't have to risk wearing it and knocking a bunch of stuff off the shelves while you're turning around trying to grab stuff. If you know that you snore at night, try not to camp right next to other people. I know it's not always possible, but just do your best. When you're doing road walks, always walk on the same side of the road as oncoming traffic. If you're in the US, that would be on the left side of the road. Keep your rain gear easily accessible on the outside of of your backpack so that way you don't have to go hectically digging through everything when it starts to rain. Pack out a sandwich or fast food for lunch on the days that you leave town. Don't use a pack cover to keep your stuff dry. Instead, use a Nylofoam or trash compactor bag to line your pack. That will keep your stuff a lot drier. Try to split hotel rooms with other hikers so that way you all can save money. There's always gonna be somebody out there who has a lighter pack than you do. You definitely wanna get your gear as light as possible, but also don't stress about it. Plan your resupplies town to town to town. Try not to think too far ahead. If you see a cool swim spot, definitely take advantage of it. Not only is it fun, but it's also just good for your body to clean up a little bit. Keep your toilet paper easily accessible because when you need it, you need it fast. Hitchhiking with another person is always gonna be safer than hitchhiking alone. Spend just as much time on your mental preparation as your gear preparation. If you know it's gonna be a cold night, try to pick a campsite that is protected from the wind. Really try to make sure that you have enough money saved up to complete the entire through hike because nothing is sadder than having to leave the trail because you ran out of funds. And number 100, take every piece of advice you hear on YouTube with a huge grain of salt. Every hiking YouTuber, myself included, is doing their best to give you guys good information that's gonna help you. But at the end of the day, everyone's experience is a little bit different. So just because you heard something on YouTube does not mean it's gospel, except for this piece of advice right here, which is that you should subscribe to the channel. 100,000 subscribers is my goal. So please help me get there, especially if you found any value in this video. Leave a comment, let me know what you're planning on through hiking this year or anytime in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.